what's going on YouTube welcome to the let's build the USS Voyager season 1 episode 57 I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode and if you haven't please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel I can't thank you enough for that so today we're going to be picking up where we actually left off in episode 56 getting in our hull lines on the lower hull so without further ado let's go ahead kick back relax and we're going to jump right into this so I've got my reference photos already up. Um, you guys probably want to do the same thing here. Get your photos up to look at Voyager or get our detailing in. I'm specifically looking at the um, lower hull area of the ship with the hull lines. Now I want to back up here so you can get my starting point. I'm going right off of this second cut line here. And one block down from the red. Now with this, we're just going to go all the way under and over to the other side. So if we complete one step on one side, we got to do it on the other side also. Now I want to make a point to get this video out. I know that uh, the last couple of weeks has been just a little bit spotty with my episodes. Um, I apologize for that. It has been a little bit crazy with work lately. Um, Without jumping into it too much, I've been, I got a promotion and I'm starting up with a different department and it's just been crazy the last couple of weeks. Um, so this week I've only got one episode coming out this week, but um, I'm going to try to make a point that as busy as things are, even if I can get out at least one episode a week, that's what I'm going to do for you guys. But I would like to get back to doing um, the three episodes a week. So. My goal is next week um, to jump back into it because at this point my training's been completed and I'm actually getting ready to start this new role on Monday. So I'm hoping that things will kind of balance out there and I'll have just a little bit more time to, to get through these more. Um, but with that being said, uh, you know, we're rocking and rolling on Voyager. We're looking pretty good. So we've got our U shaped hull line that went all the way underneath. Now we're at our starting point. We're just going to bring this going all, almost all the way back as far as we can before the, the, the cut starts to go inward. Alright, so we did that on the right side. You're going to want to do that on the left side too. And now we're going to go down. We're going to skip two rows. And on the third row, we're going to repeat the same process again. All the way back until the start the cut starts to go inward. So I say like, you know, if people that have to have these blocks counted out for them one after the other, I'm telling you, following these steps that I'm telling you to do, if you've gotten this far with me, as long as you're completing this and you're doing what I'm telling you to do, you should be ending up with what I have. If there's, you're coming across a situation where you're having a lot of variation, it may not be a bad idea to go back and check your work and to see what you did differently than what I did. Um, but, you know, that's something that I'm going to start leaning towards just a little bit more after building the Enterprise D up again and not following that tutorial 100% and just kind of going off the gust of what I'm doing and I still was able to make a virtually almost identical replica of it and to be honest with you I could have gotten even more detailed with it if I really really wanted to I could have followed every step that I did but I wanted to make a point to go off of the suggestions that I'm making for you guys to see how that would go and um, I'm just finding that if you're following these steps that I'm doing doesn't have to always be block for block. Really the main thing that matters is the proportioning of your ship and what you have. That's the most important thing. And going off of just making these changes. Now if you have an exact, almost an exact copy of what I have at this point, your building line should be matching up, you know, because we're not doing anything that's super drastic that's changing the overall design of the ship at this point. We were literally just adding in our hull lines. 
So now we're going to shift gears. We're going to count 12 blocks out, and I believe on the 12th block, we're just going to start and we're going to do a, a cut going straight down on both sides, and then we're going to fill that in with the gray. This doesn't have to be 12 blocks exactly. If you look at your build and you decide that, hey, you know, maybe 12 blocks looks too long, maybe it looks too short, add another row, take a row away, do what works for you. Do what looks best with your build. Um, some of this I could have probably edited out just a little bit more. I apologize for that. For the most part, I got pretty good with this uh, Voyager tutorial in general. Not... Um, showing just the redundancy of the build process but every once in a while i get a straggler that pops in here and there um so just bear with me as i get better with my editing but really that's my goal that you know if we're doing one thing on one side and we do it on the other i don't need to show both sides but that just kind of snuck its way in there And, you know, this is, we're going to throw some lighting in here. I know it's getting super dark. Um, I try to make a point for you guys to add in extra lighting. So, but you got to understand, sometimes it can be um, not necessarily difficult, but I don't know anybody is like this. Like, sometimes when I'm building, I just kind of get in the zone. You know what I mean? And I just start building and building. And I kind of, every once in a while, I forget that, hey, somebody's going to be watching this. Um, so for the areas when we're getting on the belly, it's getting a little bit dark. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, we're not doing anything super detailed here. We're literally just doing a cut going straight across the bottom with a gap of 12. And if I'm not mistaken, that very, very, very last cut line on the belly, I don't think we're doing a line across that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's one of the areas that I intend to go back to for season two, the very belly of the ship to get some extra detailing in. And then we've got also got some detailing to do on the very bottom of the saucer, in the very middle of it. I've got to get uh, a little bit detailing in there. And then I think there's going to be one or two windows I have to add into the saucer but there's not going to be much more that we're going to do after that for the outside. But uh, no, I'm digging these hull lines. I was going to mention this earlier when I was talking about, you know, using different things. I just kind of veered off there for a second. But look, you know, if you don't like this gray that I'm using, if you think that it pops too much, try using the white concrete. Um, the white concrete is going to be a lot more subtle with the coloring. The only reason I decided to veer away from it was because I wanted, I really wanted these specific hull lines that I was adding in, I wanted them to pop out more. And when I used the white concrete, they just, they didn't stick out to a degree that I wanted them to. Um, so that was really the decision making and why I decided to do that. But again, you want to use a different color, I say go for it. And literally, at this point, we're just repeating the same process over and over again for this backside. We're doing a gap of 12, and we're doing our hull lines going straight down and across to the other side. And skipping that very, very last row, we're not going to build on that. We're going to save that for Season 2 to get that extra detail again. But this is probably my favorite part of the build process because, you know, this is when the ship really starts to come to life. The, uh, it's all in attention to detail and sometimes less is more, sometimes more is better, you know. It's going to be one of those things where we're just going to have to gingerly take our time with detailing it and seeing what it needs, 
seeing what needs to be taken away and just kind of going from there and um, making whatever changes we need to make as we go. Um, I had a couple of people comment on my channel um, saying that they liked like a more clean tutorial process and I understand where some of those people are coming from but that's not necessarily what I'm trying to show from my channel. Um, I per This is just my own personal view. I'm not saying that this is right. I'm not saying that this is wrong. This is just kind of my attitude on it is that if you're taking the time to come and watch my tutorials, um, it, sh it should be because you want to learn how to do these ships yourself. And if I don't show you the trial and error period process of these builds, I'm doing you a disservice because I'm not showing you a realistic tutorial process. Anybody that sits here and says that, hey, I can build, you know, one of these ships the first time, 100%, no problems, they're flat out lying to you. Because there's going to be, a, you know, um, a trial and error period here and there. And, you know, maybe there might be one or two people that are that good that they can do it. But at least for me, in my experience, what I've been able to do, um, having that um, trial and error period is vital to the build because being willing to not settle on things makes your builds come out that much better. So those of you that want a more clean version of these, I would just say, you know, maybe be a little bit more open to um, going through that exploratory process because that exploratory process is really going to help you land where you need to land. Um, and just kind of like anything else, sometimes there's going to be a research and development process in it to get it down right, you know? And um, I'll give you an example when the uh, Enterprise A 2.0 comes out. That's going to be what those people are looking for. That'll be a much more cleaner tutorial process. You're not going to see a lot of trial and error on that tutorial because at this point I've built several constitution classes and there wasn't really any areas that I really spun my tires on too much. I think there was like one or two light revisions that we made on the saucer and then lower hull, but that was pretty much it. Pretty cut and dry uh, tutorial. But that also had the benefit of um, me learning how to build starships from a constitution class and building five of them at this point over the period of several years. So even with that, you know, I've already gone through the trial and error period. So um, that is probably actually one thing that I almost kind of regret because I actually had some somebody ask me, on, or they didn't ask, but they were looking for a tutorial of 2009 Enterprise. Part of me wishes that I recorded me building that original ship out, but at the same time, I'm actually glad that I didn't. Because that was a several year process, just learning how to build Minecraft. Or learning how to build starships on Minecraft to get to that point to even put that video out of that ship. But, you know... Um, that could be something that we circle back to down the road. I've already said this, like, at some point or another, I'm certain that I'm going to do every version of the Enterprise. I just don't want to make my channel just about the Enterprise or Star Trek. Um, I like building other things. Um, the Starships seem to be the most fun that I enjoy, as well as the community, so that's still the main one. But we still do other things. But, I mean, with that being said, um, I've kind of rambled on a lot enough from stretching this episode out. So, I think we're going to cut it off right here. We're cutting it short right here. But anyway, I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. And if you did enjoy this content, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button and helping me and supporting the channel. Um, anybody that does take the time to like, comment, subscribe, uh, all these things help the analytics on my channel. And we are slowly approaching 1,000 subscribers. We are at 892. Once we hit 1,000, the Enterprise A 2.0 tutorial is going to be dropping. So those of you that do want that Star Trek Beyond t uh, tutorial, or excuse me, the uh, uh, 2009 uh, Kelvin era Enterprise, the 2.0 tutorial isn't going to be super far off from that. You can make changes to that build to kind of make it work a little bit. 
Um, that's something that we may even get into a little bit explaining things, how you could do it differently. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today's episode. And if I, I hope that uh, you did enjoy this content, and I also hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And of course, what did you make in Minecraft today? What did you build in general? Post your photos in Discord so the community can see them.